Ladies and gentlemen, it's Joanne Lavelle here and I'm here to present to you a virtual viewing of a beautiful, perfectly finished house. Now, this house is located off the Ormagh Road in Dundalk. Um, it's, it's just a short walk really from, from the town centre, probably about a kilometre, maybe a little bit less. And um, it's very convenient to get into town or to get onto the motorway or whatever it is. So. I wanted to show you the property, but first I thought I would have a little look out the front and then afterwards we'll have a little look out the back because the inside and the outside are equally fantastic in this property. So um, the property has over the years um, been upgraded all the time, but it was also extended, substantially extended, refurbished and modernized or upgraded in recent years. And what you have now is this beautiful turnkey property. So. Would you like to have a look inside? Let's go. So the first thing that we note about the property is that all of the windows and doors um, have been upgraded. They are Munster joinery doors. We're coming in through the front door, um, a double French style door uh, into a storm porch with beautiful black and white tiles. Then we come through the second sort of mirroring French doors double doors into the entrance hallway. Now, there is, um, the hallway has been panelled throughout and the radiator cabinets from Lockview in Omeath integrated into the panelling. And the result is, I'll point a couple of these things out as we go along, a very, very fine finish. The house has been interior designer decorated throughout and the result is just absolutely breathtaking. It's a very calm, peaceful house. It's nice and quiet. Um, there's a lot of space, a lot of proportion to it. I'm in the main drawing room now. Okay, you can see it's dual aspect. It's carpeted floor. It has a bay window, quite a deep bay window actually. Again, feature radiator cabinets. You can see here, um, I love a room which has space to accommodate formally laid out furniture. And that's what's going on here now. The fireplace is a gas fire basket fire. You'll see it in there. Um, it's unusual to find them. They're so lovely. And then this is a tailor made um, granite fireplace. I'll just show you the room from this other angle now. It's a beautiful room. So I should also point out that um, the windows and doors which are Munster joinery have brass finishings, which is important because if you have, if you're a person who has fine attention to detail, well, then you're going to want to know these kind of things. So we're in the, the, the center hallway of the house, which has been very smartly used um, to create a second sort of a reception room. Okay. In this instance, it's another gas fire and this time with a very modern, a lovely contemporary sandstone fireplace. It's a very bright space because behind me above is an atrium style skylight. So light is just flooding in through this space. That's the staircase up to a mezzanine, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. Now we're going to carry on down this way. That's underneath. You can see really, really lovely use of space. Little retreats, if you like, little zones all through the house. Um, but everything with an exceptional attention to detail. Now this next room is a real treat. Again, through your motif, French doors solid wood, the solid oak doors, which are painted into the kitchen, dining and family area. It is a beautiful space. You have three sets of French doors add to the garden. And when you see the garden in a few moments, you'll understand why um, there are so many access points because there's just so many little features of the garden. So I'm going to begin from right to left. So this is a uh, triple aspect room. Okay. You have a freestanding stove set into a feature hearth, which runs the whole height of the room. And the reason that it is, um, 
double height is because of the mezzanine, which I mentioned a moment ago, which is there. Okay. So it's a very multifunctioning space. If it were me and I lived here, I would have an office up there for my work from home space. Um, the second uh, doors uh, to the garden are to my right there. So now we're moving back from the family room area. That's the dining space. You can see it take that, that's a very large suite of furniture and it very capably accommodates furniture of that scale, which is good to know. Now, this is the kitchen. Okay, it's a sort of a French chic style kitchen, hand painted. Um, it's got granite worktops and an island which has a solid oak top worktop. To the right is um, again excellent cabinetry. I'm going to give you a little look inside here because it's important to know what storage you have. So that's a sort of a larder. I love the grill feature. You can see that there. And then if I look just around here, you also have within that cabinet um, the integrated fridge freezer. So I'll just show you that now. Integrated there. So we'll close that back up. Really clever use of storage there. Now at the island, plenty storage there. And as we go sweeping around, you'll see a very nice um seated area built in around the window which is really lovely because where I'm looking at here now that is southeast it's it, that's the east side of the house where the sun would come up and it's looking out onto the patio there as you can see and then the rest of the kitchen here we have um an electric range master set into um um set into a recess with finished with a nice smart and sharp subway tile Lots of storage there. And then if you see here, that is the, the other side of the island and you have an integrated dishwasher there. Now, I want to show you the utility room because I actually have utility room envy in here. That is the utility room, which also has been given huge attention to detail. Um, Belfast sink, um, you can see the freestanding appliances there. Then lots of storage on this side. Through that door is a hot press and the water tank. This is the back door. Isn't it lovely? Okay. And now we're going to go back out through the kitchen. Also, just to point out, again, nice uh, roof ceiling feature here, uh, which again is, is there designed to bring maximum light into the house. So... We'll just finish off this room. So now we're going to go up the stairs to the mezzanine. And I think that this is a really clever plan. Um, it's great use of space and it creates a new reception area, um, which can work quite independently of the house. So that's a little landing there. And then there's your mezzanine. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, um, some blinds have been specially fitted to to cover the windows here uh, because I imagine it's very warm without them, but it's also, you could even put more light in here if you wanted to. So that's just looking down to where we have just been. The house is immaculate. It's just, I mean, it's been finished to a very high standard and to a very high level of detail. But it's not just that. There's so much style in it. And everywhere I look when I'm in this house, I see something new, something lovely. So it's a bit of a, it's a real treat being in here. Now, we're back downstairs and now we're going to look at the uh, bedroom accommodation. So before we do that, I have one more treat to show you before we get into the bedroom accommodation. Is this addition to the house which is um, effectively a sunroom or conservatory. It's triple aspect. Again, it's a wide plank solid oak floor, which is really beautiful. French doors, that motif again leading out to the back garden. I want to show you this with a little look out here. What 
What a beautiful garden. We'll have a proper look around there in a little while. So that's that space. The um, joinery throughout the house is just really impressive. And then because, you know, this is secure, you can close that room off if it's not a space that you're using very much. Um, now, bedroom number one. There are five bedrooms, folks, and they're all double bedrooms, okay? So this, each room, by the way, has been finished in a different, slightly different theme. It's really gorgeous. So this is the green room. Again, solid oak doors throughout. Okay. The next room, rose pink. Isn't that a lovely girl or ladies room? Okay. Final look there. Next is the, well, I suppose it's a mint green room. I love this room. It's so cool and fresh. All right, that's number three. And now we're going into the main bedroom. This is a treat. It's an exceptionally spacious room with an exceptionally wide, well, it's a, a wide and deep bay window uh, looking onto the front of the house. It has a long flank along this wall of fitted wardrobes, very nicely done, okay. And I love to see um, a bedroom that has space for um, relaxing furniture and relaxing zones. So here, for example, if I step back a little, you can see two armchairs and a lovely ottoman. So um, a space that you'd enjoy chilling out in. Behind me there is the ensuite. Now, there is also a um, freestanding bath in the ensuite, which is a lovely feature. OK, so that's. Another look again, this is a carpeted floor in this space. Very relaxed setting. Now, we're going to turn the corner and down to the remaining accommodation. In here is a hot press. And in here is the house main bathroom. Um, this has five star luxury all over it, as far as I can see. Um, carpeted space, you have feature sort of Georgian style sanitary wear. Again, lovely to see, you know, armchair sort of powder room style layout in, in a bathroom. You have a separate shower, which is very smartly tiled. And then you have a lovely claw foot roll top freestanding bath. It's like, and there's the loo. It's like a, it's like a spa in here. I love it. Okay, that's the bathroom. I'll just give you another little look at that before we move on to the fifth and final bedroom. This is another gorgeous room. Now, it's, it's a very large room, it's carpeted. There are two doors off it. The first to my right is actually a sauna, which is what the controls are there over the bed. And the second door um, is an ensuite. It's unfinished, so... Um, if you need it, if you wanted to, you can fit the bathroom, the sanitary wear. The plumbing is all there, so it's very easy to do. And your feature motif, French doors at the garden. Let's have a look. So, this is the central patio around um, the living accommodation with the um, conservatory or sunroom. 
at the center of it. The finish on it is just incredible. And if you just see there, from here you get to enjoy incredibly mature trees. It's almost like an arboretum. There's such beautiful variety of species and shape and form. And now it's full of birds. So it's just lovely space to be in, especially on a day like today. So to get your bearings back here, is the French door into the kitchen family area. I'll stand in the middle so that you can get a 360. So that's into the kitchen and that double height um, with the stove and the mezzanine. That's the French door into the dining area. That's the conservatory. And then that's leading to the bedrooms. And then this is the door into the fifth bedroom. All right. I'll have a little look around here without disturbing these birds. There's so many little features and little spots where clearly the current owner has put a lot of thought into places in the garden where there's lots of enjoyment. So, for example, I'm looking straight ahead here at um, at a chair which is positioned just in a little sunspot with dappled light coming down from the trees. And you see a lot of these around, which is lovely because it just gives so much interest around the whole garden. There's a little decking over there. Now the sun goes around from east over in front of the direction, it's just at the front of the house in the morning time and it's now half past 12 and it's just bang on filling the back garden with light and sun. Okay. Now You see all the little the little um, pathways. It's like a magical little garden. I don't know how I'm going to navigate around this. We'll see now. There we go. And this is now a little breakfast area, which is outside the kitchen. Okay. We'll come back around to it before we finish. But I want to show you the back door. And it's not every house that you need to draw attention to the back door. But when you see it, it's just so lovely. The house is finished with granite sills. It's important that I point out a couple of the technical features. Isn't that lovely? And the, the flower pot made of a little cast iron roll top bath. You can see there, really, really good quality uh, materials used throughout. Lovely stone finish. That's going back into the drawing room. Now, we go back around here. Um, if you're watching this and you're of a gardening disposition, you're going to be very busy looking to see what's going on here. I must say, it's, um, it's, a, it's a garden that belongs in a magazine. It's so beautiful. Um, I totally have uh, gardening skills envy just now. So now, we're back here. Oh, just have a look at there. So, it's a five bedroom house and there's probably, I think, three reception areas in it. So there's a lot. And then inside, when you see the garden, you just see uh, how much is going on. Um, we're putting it on the market now. We're just waiting for a few last minute details before we have everything together. Um, so uh, hopefully having this virtual viewing, um, thank you for bearing with me because it has taken a little bit longer than usual, but then I had a lot to show you. But hopefully having looked at this virtual viewing, um, it'll give you an idea as to whether this house might be for you. Now I'm going to be gutted to leave this house because it's, it's so lovely. I'll give you another little look at the back garden before we say goodbye. If you have any questions about this property, I would be delighted to answer them. Um, and if you'd like to see it, I would be delighted to show it to you as soon as that's possible, uh, which hopefully won't be too far away now. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I hope you're all well, and perhaps we'll speak soon. Regards. Bye-bye.